Smokes, if you'd have told us three, four, nah, let's say six years ago or oh. seven years ago when we were just nickel and diamond it. To be like, hey, in the future here, you'll have a, you'll have a Lambo and a couple houses <laughs> and you'll be buying a Richard Millet watch that's almost six figs. I would, well, like, it was uh, six figs. Yeah. I would or say, uh, I believe it. And that actually that's a leads me into what I It'd have. Probably get you more fired up, Paul. Yeah, yeah, that that well, that kind of leads me to my next subject, manifesting, manifestation. It's kind of a silly word sometimes. It's looked at as silly. It's looked at, I don't know. Um, manifest. I feel like if you would have told me all this, I would have all this, and I'd be in this position. I would have believed it, and because even when I was, but there's still something in there to be like, I believe it. But let let me finish. Okay, go. I don't really know where I'm going to finish going, but I let it like, rip, let it rip. You know Take another rip. I remember, <laughs> I remember being that, that, a young buck coming down to Arizona and I will, I would have told, I would have been, I wouldn't have been surprised if he told me this all played out the way it was, but with manifesting, it's like a, initially it's a thought, right? You think you got to think about it. You got to believe in it. But the action is where people forget those thoughts I would have led me to go to the gym multiple times a day. That's where the manifesting like worked. Is because I'd have these thoughts, I'd see these, like I'd see it all happening. But with that, led me to be like, okay, but I need to do be doing this for that to happen. So the manifesting starts with a thought, and then it has to have an action or multiple actions every day. But a lot uh, there's people that wake up and they're fired up and they, that gets them motivated. But then it's the day where they're just like, there's something about that inner bitch that Joe Rogan talks about that gets people that just yeah. makes them make the decision. I'm going to be a pussy. Yeah, well, then I just think you don't want it as bad as you think you do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because if you want it, you'll do even the shit. Even when I didn't know what discipline was or anything, even when I I would still go to the gym. I wouldn't and, be like, I'm disciplined. I would just go because I wanted it that bad. And nowadays, there's so many podcasts and people out talking about overtraining. So, like, these young kids and stuff, they're like, they wake up sore. How how many years did we do two-a-days? Yeah. Waking up fucking battered, but, like, God, I need to do this to be a champion. Overtrained I need to do this for to be years. a champion. Yeah. Well, you know, you guys, I feel like, have strong mental fortitudes, and not everyone naturally has it. How would you build, like, a stronger mental fortitude? Because it's – because, like you said, it's – easy to have those days where you wake yeah, up motivated yeah. but then you, like you say there's those days when you still go in even when you don't want to and it's like how do you Dude, how do you build that I think how do you, you build I that? think you get around people where that's normal you get around a group of people that's normal like being a pussy isn't normal that's fucking you're being a bitch we don't really want to hang is, out with you much when I was in Helena though like I hung out with a crew that was just like I would still make sure, hey, I got to go do my work. Yeah, I got to do my workout. And like, I would still make sure. And I was the only one there. But I do think environment is probably one of the biggest things. Yeah, same in Montana and Missoula. I'd be showing up to practice being like, dude, I want to fucking train. Yeah. I need to find a gym where the guys are going to the like the top promotions. I want to train. I yeah. want to do this. There's something in me, too. I don't know if it was like the love of martial arts. Mine was I loved fighting so much. I never really thought about being super rich. I didn't, I didn't see that's funny. That's the opposite. Like I enjoyed it, but I was never, I like, that was my way. That was the only, that was the, my way yeah. I seen to become famous and rich was through fighting. Cause I was good at it. And you didn't like the other sports. I was just not big enough. Not at like, but fighting was like, Oh, this could be it. 